Okay, that took way too longer than I expected. I wanted to start an hour ago, but for some reason, Streamlabs didn't want to start, and I wound up having to uninstall and then reinstall my graphics drive. How fun! Hooray for technical difficulties! And I have someone with me who also finds technical difficulties. Oh, so much fun! I do. <laughs> yes! This is Green Hand. Green Hand with three E's. Howdy. The number of E's changes depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> I just realized we've been friends for over a year now. Yeah. Time flies when you're boinking monsters. Oh, that does. <laughs> or at least wanting to point them. <laughs> but yeah, like last time, we've been we're gonna be going through the spooky themed ha events and plot lines for the game Monster Prom. You weren't here with us yesterday, Green Hand. Yesterday we destroyed the world. Well, I do that in my off time too. <laughs> and the and the best part is that I kind of talked one of my uh, I kind of talked one of the people I was playing with into it because he wanted to win over Paul, and I told him go get the book. <laughs> You're so cruel. Cruel? I, just, I wanted to help him. Okay, so you're not cruel, you're an enabler. <laughs> Shush. Anyway. Um. I'm gonna try to do an online version since he has a copy of the game as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely more successful than screen share. So, 301 is the code. Okay. So, we ready? Yeah. We can officially get started after an hour of trying to wait. Spooky high school is sweet, use very light. Fuck them, very young and unafraid. Sometimes like reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We're on a wild journey to discover who we really were. You know who we're playing as. Mm. No, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with the name with I that I went with yesterday. You know the thing uh, with the Halloween update. We pretend to. All the characters are dressed as each other, so we're gonna pretend to be the other characters. You know what? I'm just uh, gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with Polly since Vicky and Polly share the same voice actress anyway. Sweet! And under that same logic. <laughs> You're gonna name him Liam. Of course. <laughs> Alright! And we have yet to experience his ultimate challenge, the Monster Brom. I remember clearly, three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prompt we were all scrabbling to catch the attention of one of our eight, count them, eight most charismatic classmates, and here they are! Scott Hell, age 21, <laughs> a werewolf athlete who comes here with a rather small brain with a stupidly cute char. Do I hear $10 to carry a $10 date to start? $10, thank you, thank you. You are 20, do I hear 20? Yes, 20! I'm talking too fast, I turned into an auctioneer. Almost. <laughs> Miranda Vanderbilt. Yeah, I can't that. Oh, sweet mermaid princess, who is as cute as she is, genocidal. Holy guy, stage 22? <laughs> the party goes to an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things, including world destroying. For all but the sake of a prank. Damien LeBay, age 21. Yeah! A fearless demon with a taste of destruction and a love of fire. Liam the Lion Court, age 4x6, 400, give or take. Uh, it hits the How do 
do you know he's 420? Because he hides it with Roman numerals. God damn it. A hipster vampire who stands up his demeanor hit the fact he was truly a lovable dork. He didn't want and he didn't want us to know that his age is a meme. Yeah, well, too late. You shouldn't have tried so hard. Zoe, age forever. An eldritch hey. cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl and Brian's waifu. Mm hmm Calculus to uh. Packard, version 1.0, a library computer who become a sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. The other good boy. Yeah, and I was just going to say. The second good boy. And Vera Oberlin, age 23. <laughs> a mean self-made gorg in the merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom dates, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Huzzah. Alright. I already tried the fast thing with yesterday's pop quiz interlude. Anyway. Welcome to Monster Rounds, the most cop quiz ever. All Monster are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. We're gonna more, we're not using your PhD and BS to diagnose which kind of debian tickle you are. Monster Prompts do what this cop quiz ever. We'll throw as much as extra questions to you and turn your answers to your character stats. So say each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true styles. Like I started. <gasps> yeah, I could just skip off that and save your breath. <laughs> It's I know, but what if this is the first what if this is the first time they're watching? Anyway, what would the coolest reality show be? Eight rich people fight in weekly challenges to see who's the guest to giving money to you. Twelve experts on the various arts of destruction live in a house where they must find a common face a common challenge, losing a potato into marriage, somehow. People in positions of powers must say all sorts of questions relevant to their field, and if they fail, they lose their jobs and society wins. Give me that money. I'm gonna seduce a potato. Or the next best thing. The Slayer is... I'm not cute! I'm a terrifying and vicious potato and you must fear me! Please? If you could put a curse on your worst enemy, what would it do? Can't rely on the effectiveness of a curse. I prefer to take care of my enemies the old-fashioned way by exposing them to unsafe doses of radiation over the course of several years. Chris and fall in love with a wonderful person and be happily married for years where they realize that all this time their partner was a wild panther in disguise. Then the panther viciously devours my enemy. <laughs> you say they say patience is a virtue. This is a good example. The curse of always meeting obnoxious people at parties who are super into new fad diets, they feel the need to explain them in detail. Or in our case, who are super into uh, super super into video games and other nerdy stuff. That's how you know that they trust you and love you. They they, they info dump you on their favorite stuff. Yeah, kind of. I feel very seen. I don't care. I love being info dumped on. What criteria would you use to name your kids? I'll research for a name that's pun proof and joke proof. Well, we'll pick on them. My name plus the second, just a swear word. No name, too much work. A non heteronormative name to give them the freedom to define themselves on their own terms. Or to say or to name my favorite ship like Galovich, Dare, or Narfield. I know what Narfield is supposed to be, but I don't know what Galovich or Dare are supposed to be. Me neither. Uh my name is second. Yeah. And you find your zodiac sign to be inaccurate. Design your own personal zodiac sign. The rat sword on fire, the now canon lovers, the cute pupper, the ambiguous iguana, the rich bitch, or the regal 1%. Go on for that 1%. Double it up. Doubling up on Miranda. Mm -hmm. That is oddly elaborate, says Shadow DJ. Oddly elaborate what? Uh, looking at the Twitch chat on my phone. So, um, do you have any idea which, which, which spooky line we're going to look at tonight? 
Are you asking, asking me? me? Yeah, I'm asking you. Uh, I, I don't, don't know. know. Why, Why don't, don't you tell me and the others? <laughs> I'd rather show you when the time comes. For now, I need monies. I need muns. That day you spent some time at the library's PCs, let's just skip all of this. That conversion rate, though! One million of our dollars is just one monster buck. Alright, so, how about we marry each, we marry each other's scenes? Ooh, good one. You're know, bored and doodling in your notebooks to Damien suddenly appears. Again? Is this supposed to be me? I'm cuddling shit with Liam. Am I cuddling shit with Liam? Fat Liam or the other Liam? Just, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what? Loser? Dude, if you're looking for a shortcut to the morgue, this is your lucky day. Give me one good reason not to cuddle your face with my fists. Oh no, they discovered oh, no. your erotic fan art of them. Sorry. Yeah. Oh no, they discovered your erotic fan art of them. You can't think of any way to call them with both of them. But, maybe the right answer can call them one of them. I'm not creative enough this time to tell them that this is Yahweh, but I am charming enough to tell Damien, Hey, don't be silly, you spicy red baby! You don't want to fight me, no you don't! You're clearly against fi uh, fighting against your urge for cuddling! Then you start... ...tickling Damien. <laughs> hmm? What the fuck, stop, stop. I, I will cut, cut you! No you won't! Damn, I'm not sure if you have to have a ball to face me, or if you're just a complete idiot. Maybe both. Shut up, you know you love me. <laughs> and you must admit, this piece is relatively good. Looking okay, at this, one's obviously just shows us how we both look shitless. It's settling. You're a bit flattering, right? Yeah! Shut up, ah! But you, you catch, catch Damien taking a glimpse at your masterpiece. You gain two bonus and one creativity. Huzzah! Alright! Oh no! I need, I need more money. But, okay, I guess. Uh, your bonus is at a two! Yeah, I can see that. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> At, At least bring, bring my fun up. Dab on everybody. Dab, my pretties! Yeah, he's doing one half of that Drake meme. <laughs> Without anyway. meaning to, you find yourself in a conversation with Polly and Miranda comparing the apps on your phones. <sighs> Ooh, what you got, Mary? What you got? Well... I have this game misunderstanding of mobs, so I'm not entirely sure on how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. <laughs> I also had Scepter, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. Oh, how majestic! And Spooner, which is like Griner, but for silverware. Are you implying that Miranda wants to be intimate with her silverware? I mean, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> You know, I like my abs elegant and majestic. That's pretty girls, cool. Oh, girls, <laughs> That's pretty cool, but like, do you have rap chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but like, you can only see them for like eight seconds. Wow! What about you, Liam? What fun apps do you have? Besides Instagram, of course! Yeah! Impressive with something rad. We all know Liam's phone is just a $200 Instagram machine. <laughs> Tiger. There's not. It's an app that makes tigers appear anywhere. Nothing as majestic as a tiger. Oh my! My head is swimming with the myriad uses of such an app. Our royal zoo has been tigerless ever since that tigers drowns in their underwater cages, which was immediately. We've been looking for a way to replenish our food supply ever since. Ooh. And you know what I say, it's not a real party until there are tigers, like, literally everywhere. That's so? How many real parties have you been to then, Polly? None. Yet. Miranda purchases the app and a bunch of raw meat while ordering new cages for her family zoo. Polly asks her if she can borrow a tiger or two for her next party. What could possibly go wrong? You gain plus two charm, plus two final, plus one charm. Okay. 
Oh, I already have my top ups in cosplay, so... Oh, <laughs> no! Alright! Alright! Right. Right. about to lift a glass of scotch to her immaculately painted lips. You can drink whatever at the school, apparently, when Miranda screams. <gasps> Stop! Don't drink that! What? Why not? This scotch costs more than most cars. Has your taster tried it yet? What taster? You don't have a taster? What if your drink is poisoned by someone jealous of your good looks and royal title? Listen, Mary, I only drink four things. Scotch, red wine, the tears of my enemies, and straight up poison. You drink poison on purpose? You're one to judge, Miranda. You eat poisoned apples on purpose. Miranda, my hair is venomous snakes. You think poison actually harms me? Well, well, you should still have a taster. What if someone puts really spicy hot sauce in your drink? Or, or poison? Not sure if that was an MLP reference, but that sounded like an MLP reference. Someone spiked, someone putting hot sauce in their drink, even though it was an accident. Anyway, uh, what do I have to do to get you to drop this? Simple, hire a taster. Fine, any volunteers? This might just be the big break you've been looking for. You raise your hand, and when Vera picks you, you... Uh, I drink all of sketch. What are you doing? That ball cost as much as the first Apollo mission. In today's dollars? Or Yeesh. 1960s dollars? How do you feel, Royal Taster? Are you poisoned? Well, you're not poisoned. But you're pretty freaking wasted. You give all the Miranda's you can see two big thumbs up. A job well done. Not Mara is sure not to be poisoned. Well, yeah, because there's still no scotch left to be poisoned by. Don't listen to her. You did well. Come with me. I have some other beverages you simply must verify for safety. Let's get into that. Super thirsty. Giggity. You spend the rest of the night getting wasted on expensive liquors at Miranda's place. Courtship never tasted so good. Let's go. Hello, Retro. And we find Damien flashing his usual silverware, a hammer and chisel, while Liam looks on in horror. You can't eat that. <laughs> Watch me. Uh. First of all, it's made of one single piece of obsidian. So it's a gallery. And second of all, it's a lich's phylactery. Part of balance breakfast. It's lunch. So you're just jealous. No, I'm nervous. Nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a lich, and kill us all. Ah, no, that's not going to happen. Looks like these two are an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute and score some romantic credit at the same time. Uh, you know what, Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. Oh uh, yeah, of course. I've totally forgot about, about the golden rule. Do one to others, whatever the hell you want, because it's funny. What? No, no this is an outrage. I don't even eat food, but little inedible objects that fuse with eldritch magic. Yeah, well, it's this time for everything, Dracula, is it? Down the hatch. Oh, Damien no! Damien proceeds the dread artifacts to Liam. He tends to be possessed with a dark energy, as opposed to his normal, morose energy. Oh, the Lord of the Night. Here is our device, the Devourer of Joy. Batman, what did you get here? Yeah, he's Devourer of Joy, all right. Yeah, what a dead. Liam has to go to the nurse's office to get the curse removed. William Dane Bob Bank to celebrate. Huzzah! I think you would totally be down that. Probably. <laughs> Alright! Alright. She's in the shop! I need money. You've got to have money! Yeah. 
I mean, unless I start a secret ending route, but that's... You're screwing around in your cell phone when you see a couple of your classmates screwing around on their cell phones, too, but louder with more aggression. Holy oh, it. This is an institute of learning, learning and I'm finding it increasingly difficult to concentrate, but you make me tigers of your everywhere constantly. They'll soon overrun the school. What could possibly go wrong? I find it simply abhorrent that you, the amount of money you're funneling into the tiger, but it advertises itself as free and it gets you addicted and causes you to spend and pay more and more money. 99 monies at a time, that's, that's just... Awesome! Exploitative of the weak-willed. And I love exploiting the weak-willed, but I prefer when you do it with me. What's so special about Tiger, anyway, that you're blowing all your money on it rather than investing in our schemes? Polly, I thought what we had was special! Um, where do we even begin? The premium features are, like, dope. You can design the size of your tiger, pick custom colors, pick whisker size and strength. You can find out whether or not a tiger has super liked your profile and what pictures it's favorite at. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I necessarily want to date a literal, actual tiger. I mean, I'm not into- I'm not a zoophile. I am not a zoophile. I just want to know they- the literal, actual tigers want to date me, as they should. Again, not a zoophile. She has pity fuck to wear a panther. <laughs> yeah, but that's not Sophilia. You no. must realize how insane and wrong that sounds. I mean, hearing it out loud did sound pretty whack, I guess. Plus, as hackers get hungry and start eating people, and honestly, it's shocking that I haven't done that already, we won't have anyone to rip off. Right. And the tigers will be ripping off their arms and legs. Good point. I'll just delete the app and get rid of the tigers. There! Deleted! And yet... There. Tigers. tigers. Here. Tigers. 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 Everywhere. Everywhere. Tigers. Uh-huh. I wonder why that didn't work. I don't know. Maybe because getting rid of downloadable content on a phone and no way to store the living flesh and blood beings in the real world. But you know what might actually work? Have Coach uh, Shulk them. He's a dagger, right? Yeah. Alright, fine. I'm just gonna make this decision myself. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent idea. Although there were many areas in which I could not trust the opinion of a peer athlete communicate with their own, which one that I need to be the best at is one to which even I was happily deferred. Yeah, what he said. Catch! You're right, my lovely, wonderful, eager on edgy kiddies. I still have to pin down an accident for him. Um, yeah, someone, we have no idea who, just someone, made a whole. Sh the whole ton. Language pulling it. She means there's an abundance of tigers roaming around the school. Tigers? Yeah. Why? How did you know that? I was looking at a recruit from my old tiger synchronized skating team. We, we did end. Expect you to be so grateful. All we really wanted was the satisfaction of a job well done, and also 10% revenue on all memorabilia and merchandising once the season kicks off. That's just boring for you. Let's go tell these tigers all along about this joyous and sick and You follow Coach around the school as he approaches each and every tiger to recruit them one by one. Yeah, some, some people, some people, people say that for a man forming a synchronized skating team with a literal actual tigers is more work than it's worth, but when you're on back with double the amount, what does that need to be in sync? Well, I say these people are weak and never try to teach the tigers how to sink or escape. Neither have I. But I think I'm more than enough for the challenge. Plus, I think all the joy that can be asking. Bunions, freezing toes, split toenails, hip and knee problems, all these can be yours for free. Well, not for free, because you have to buy equipment and spend time on all the ice and all that, but you could win trophies. Whoa! Wait, did all the tigers line up? I had no idea that tigers care so deeply for trophies. Then you must not pay attention to Coach. 
Obviously. Good thing the other Liam does, or at least enough to know that Coach is a tiger. Yeah! Well, come to think of it, that's not really that much, but it got the job done, and now everyone is happy. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Let's go! Okay. I'm just, just the, the cooler cool Liam. <laughs> oh. And I'm a slightly more responsible Polly. Who can twerk like a boss. Nice Damien and Miranda squatting on the uh, grass. Po <coughs> something with a stick. Yeah. Poking, Poking something with a stick. stick. You rush over, hoping for a dead possum, but instead find them gathered around an entire tiny metropolis. We actually stumbled upon the weekend event version of this yesterday. Hmm. Fucking metal! Check this shit out. It's our kingdom! I call it Smalltopia. A tiny voice comes up from, from the city and chats. It's Cowboy's Beverly! We're not a monarchy! Oh, I already have that one. I was just gonna burn it all down with a magnifying glass, you know, at night. <laughs> but I'm having Miranda stop me. It's going to be king. Tiny voice from the city shouts, We you vote for our leaders and ban our elections! But we are facing a quandary. How to boost our kingdom's struggling economy? Yeah, the whole place has been facing an economic recession ever since a pigeon stole the hospital to build its nest. Tiny voice says, That bad guy stole the hospital and lied about it! I'm used to managing kingdoms that are significantly larger and much more underwater. I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Yeah. Hey, how about being our royal advisor? Yeah, the pay shit, but you can take whatever buildings you want. Hey! Shouts the tiny voice. Do we build a new hospital out of popsicle sticks and hot glue? Or, you know what always boosts an economy? War! Ugh! Ugh, y'all, what is it good for this? I think I saw an ant hill over by the water fountain. What is it good for? Increased domestication of... Increased fabrication of domestic resources. Okay. We'll burn a bit. <laughs> Check that. <laughs> See, Miranda? This is exactly what I've been telling you. The best solution is usually violence related. You truly are wise, Damien. Very well. To war! The three of you instigate a war with the ants by leaving a trail of syrup between Smalltopia and the anthill. The tiny city is soon devoting its entire infrastructure to combating the Formic Menace. They build barracks, train troops, and, con and construct missile silos. By the end of the period, they've bombed the ants back to the Stone Age with their tiny, adorable nuclear weapons. The drinking fountain will be radioactive forever, but Small Tokyo's mil new military industrial complex really revitalized its economy. You gain one boldness and two money, as a bonus for your new permanent position as the Small Tokyo Defense Council. Yes! That weekend. Let's go! That weekend, you were at the movies when you received a summons from Miranda. Oh, thank goodness you could come! Technically, Miranda's guards forced you to meet with her, but you'd rather not split hairs. I'm contemplating a decision of extreme gravity. To date, Liam? Or not to date? And if so, which Liam? As you are famed at the school of the wants and Lothario, I thought I'd best ask your advice. But please, be sure to frame it in terms that I will understand something simple and straightforward. In short, I need you to tell me which item of silverware Liam, the other Liam, most closely resembles. Okay. The first Liam is best represented by gilded shrimp tongs delicately inlaid with diamonds and baby teeth. The other Liam is bread. And I ain't not gonna do me dirty like this. <laughs> nope. I mean, come on. The actual Liam would say he is... Yeah. The, the yes. somewhere he's most like is bread. Less less cooler Liam would be would want to be so subversive. <laughs> but me, golden shrimp tongs. 
Ooh, gilded shrimp tongs. One of the most elegant of silver wares. And gilded gold on top of silver. How decadent. Of course the diamonds must represent his strength and endurance. Literally. Well, the baby teeth must present, represent his inner tenderness. And the lungs that seal teeth from babies. What? No, just the inner tenderness. And outer tenderness. Yeah, you know, it's literally figurative. I cannot imagine a more appropriate piece of silverware to be my date. But I'm told I'm not allowed to take actual silverware to the prom as my date, so your friend will have to suffice. Oh, well, that, no. that guy on Spooner will probably have to wait. I can't take him to prom. Well, thank you ever so much. Well, it's time to open up a catfish account on Spooner. Miranda's goons strike you away, but not before Miranda awards you three money for your marvelous advice. I have so much money! What you gonna spend it on? Y'all see. Alright. But hey, the library should be clear right about now. I damn hope so. Alright! That would be a real douchey move to have her in a library two turns in a row. Mm hmm. Doing this because she wants attention? Well, only one way to find out. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there, as I was sitting here, suffering gallantly in silence. She did, and she wasn't, but okay. I had the most tragic injustice befall me earlier this morn. I was rejected from our school's water polo team. Oh no. Yes. yes. They claimed I was mistaken about how polo is conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. I was not even supposed to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse on the mount. How, I ask you? Perhaps I offended them by implying that they were too impoverished to afford sea steeds. If so, why, I would love to make reparations. But it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind as to take them to get to this omelet to begin the healing? I am told that peasants consider eggs to be a delicacy. Uh, 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 obviously. And what would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of... I'm just reminded of a fanfic that we are working on together called Three for All Free Sums about OT3s. Mmm, yeah, I don't know. It's feeling a little... Oz is half the story feeling a little clumsy to me. But we'll talk about that later. Anyway. Uh, give them an elegant stenciled card with your sincerest apologies and a list of all their fears and a bundle of compromising photographs. Ooh, yes! How better to show that I'm truly making an effort to get to know them on the most personal of levels! I shall do their names in beautiful calligraphy, print their fears in gold leaf, and I shall adore their compromising news with adorable glitter stickers! I may have been misunderstood before, but how can anyone misinterpret this kind of gesture? Take the omelet and make sure to take lots of pictures of them eating the eggs, uh, so we can all remember how generous I was. With a kiss on the cheek, Miranda hands you the omelet and waves you on her your way. You gain plus two smarts and plus one charm. Yeah, that uh, that little parenthesis is exactly how my mood is. Yeah, well, let's go. And what a mood it is! I call it fire. <laughs> Heart attack. Um, Liam, buddy, you fainted. No, uh, that wasn't really, it wasn't really fainting. It was just sort of, uh, generalized excitement. <laughs> okay. Interpret that as you, as you may. Anyway. Hey, stranger. Let's face it, you're probably going to end up losing your money in some stupid way anyway. Why not spend it here first? It's just going to be a spark, yeah? Woo! Candy! Oh, boy. Catch you, know, you later. Vicky, I would imagine that Vicky actually does mistake drugs for can. If anybody in the PC is probably going to do it. She would mistake drugs for candy. She's like a child in that sense. Kinda. Let's go. Oh no. Also, also, Brian is the mom friend. Yeah. Oh no, they are at the same table. You know what? Oh, no. Well, alright. 
I did you miss out on interacting with Damien in the morning. You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silver spread while her eating serves chow down obediently at a neighboring table. I still don't get why he collects all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. What a noob! I mean, even the knives don't even look all that deadly. Silly boy, the silverware's not for killing! Makes you grief for stuff other than killing? That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serfs do it for you. Well, of course they do! Eh, yeah, but they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands as this befits the lower class. So you're saying the silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? These, could, these two could go round and round like this forever, unless you say something to resolve the dispute. Um, you know what? Damien's right, Miranda. Maybe it is time you start murdering people with your silverware. I mean, I was just giving a shit, but I'm in favor of any clan that gets more people murdered. Oh, how barbaric! Are you sure that's the right thing to do? You want to commit genocide against the air people. You're not going yep. to talk. Yep, 100%. Absolutely. Well, alright then. Yum yum. Daisy, take the sharpest of these silver wares in your filthy peasant hands and go murdering with you. I was kind of hoping you'd do the murder yourself. If we're living in an age where a lady can't outsource her selfless murders to her servant, I don't know what the world is coming to. Fair enough. As long as the murders get done, I guess I don't care. Miranda even outsources her some of her silverware murders to you and Damien as a team. It really brings you closer together to each other. The ruler is a small topia, everybody. Alright! Also, if I, if I were voicing Dahlia, I'd give her a Scottish accent. <laughs> My Dahlia tends to go from Scottish to Russian. As soon as you sit down, Dahlia takes one look at your tray and then locks eyes at you. It's really intense. No one is ready for Dahlia! Your cantaloupe slice. Give it to me. You hesitate. You really like cantaloupe. Please, maintaining a balanced diet with plenty of fruits and vegetable vegetables is key if I want to slay healthy, stay healthy, and not to conquer the eighth circle of hell. Oh, she's holding a marker that she used to give herself the beauty mark. Oh, wait, I don't see a marker anywhere. It's in her hand. It's literally in her hand. I, I don't see. Her hands are blank. Or, unless you're mistaking them for her fingers. <sighs> okay, uh, she's wearing she's, she's wearing Joey's outfit. Oh, okay. Uh, I see yeah. Dahlia's regular outfit. Okay. Anyway. You get that. But cantaloupe is like super tasty uh, fine a purple's bargain you give me one piece of cantaloupe and i give you command of my army for one hour well that's a pretty good deal you can't help but accept now to use dahlia's army for a truly important purpose do you make do you make the most collaborative salad ever or finding out once and for all how many demonic soldiers it takes to screw in a light bulb yeah let's find out how much that is this question has plagued you for years. Finally, an opportunity to put the matter to bed. After one hour of rigorous testing, you come to the conclusion that there are two possible answers. If you just ask one of the soldiers to screw in the light bulb, then one. Or if you order three soldiers to screw in the light bulb while the rest of the army fires crossbows at them, potentially infinite number. You submit your findings to a renowned jokeology journal and gain plus four smarts for your hard work. <laughs> jokes. You got Never big brain. I've all my feelings with jokes. You got big brain. Oh yeah, it's big brain time. Also, if you haven't already, go watch the heist with Mark and Fire. All right. Mhm. Mm anyway, where to now? My mons. I need money. So you're gonna gamble. <gasps> Me, alas, and alack a day. throwing a hissy fit. Must be Tuesday. But it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Still, what yeah. else are you gonna do? Study? <laughs> <laughs> you 
Vicky would have a snorting laugh, would she? Maybe if she's like, if it's like a really deep laugh, like something that's totally funny, she would snort. <laughs> but not just like a casual people. Anyway. Oh, hello! Don't mind me! I'm simply enduring the most horrible injustice to happen to anyone ever! Look awfully calm about it. You shouldn't, be you shouldn't believe such cruelty could happen in our own school, but today Mrs. The Loch Ness Monster told me I shall be receiving a B plus in her class! A B plus! And all because I seldom attended! Does she not understand the importance of my daily royal manicures? Such a horrid grant will surely cause father to cease paying for my seahorse insurance as punishment, and then how shall suitors call upon me? Oh, the tragedy! If only someone knew the way I could! I don't know, perhaps. Break into the principal giant spider's office, access his private computer, and alter my grade? Hmm. Actually, I think my smarts. Is this one smarts? I know the bottom one's the charm, but... Alright, after that, I'm gonna risk it. Fingers crossed! Yeah, there we go. What a splendid idea! Crying's what I'm third best at! Also, minor headcanon, Miranda really likes tragedies. Of course. Miranda goes in the principal giant spire's office and without losing a bee bursts into tears. <laughs> Principal Giant Spider grabs a tissue in each of his eight arms and shoves him all in Miranda before fleeing outside. With him gone, you pop out of the suspiciously large valise Miranda bought with, with her and hack the system in no time. Oh, look at that! I have an A+. Plus. I guess I underestimated my own amazingness. I am very surprised by this development. I suppose long we're here, I might as well fill this thumb drive with top secret school security footage. That seems on the level. Definitely don't ask any follow-up questions. Just game plus three boldness and be cool, okay? Oh, let's okay. Go. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> You're totally not panicking. No, 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 I'm not panicking. You're no, you're panicking. I'm gonna be a good girl and go to class. She's so heckin' smart. It's so heckin' cute. That too. After all that, you managed to find a moment of privacy to admire your new drugs. Something you do, which is something you do because you're a weirdo. But it turns out your privacy isn't actually all that private, because here comes Polly and Scott. Hi! We haven't seen you since you blew up the world. Yeah! Ooh, are those drugs? Well, there's only one way to find out. You're and right, Scott. Nope. Yeah. That's the sound of Polly when she eats a bunch of drugs out of your hand. <laughs> I, w I was gonna say that you should ask Polly if they were drugs, but I guess there are two ways. Wait, which hey. Polly? The Polly hey. who had the candy, or the Polly who ate the who ate the candy? Uh, I don't know. Scott's confused. There's two Pollys now. <laughs> also, he's Canadian. <laughs> Shh, Scott, be quiet. You're saying too many punctuation marks. What? What's a punctuation mark? Hey! Oh no, you're doing it more now! Wait. I'm doing it too! I can't stop! Wait, we're all, we're all made of punctuation marks! Don't you see? Uh, what? No! <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna go sit on a mystical journey into my own subconscious. See you never! But just two short hours later. Aww. And that's when I realized we're not real monsters. We're characters in a video game. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Also, look at my stats. They are almost in perfect numerical order. Eh, almost. Yeah! Oh, I can tell by the tone of your voice that this is huge news. This is no time for your endearing naivete, Scott. Everything we've ever known is a lie! Hmm. Even 
Pizza? Oh. Especially pizza! What? Oh no! I don't want to live in a world where pizza's a lie. Oh, this can't be true. I won't let it. Well, you I don't want to believe it either, but something tells me that Polly's right. Maybe it's the extreme zaniness of your daily life, or maybe it's the fact that your entire personality is represented by five constantly shifting numbers. But either way, you know your fictional bones that Polly is right. You've just got to prove it. What? How? Let's walk to the limits of reality and then walk some more, or... Let's turn off the game, guys. <sighs> turn off the... How? Oh, that's easy. You do it all the time. You restart the application. Yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Dream's over. Go to bed. <laughs> or not. Psych. Huh. What in Terrence and Larry's name must happen? The lights went out and suddenly they didn't care about friendship or peeing or sports at all. I died! I'm bringing dad up already! Dad! Uh, um, uh... I'm scared, Polly. Me too, Scott. Me too. But it's gonna be okay, buddy. That is? Are you gonna fix it? No, Scott. I'm like way, 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 way too high. And you're you. But we're gonna get out of here. Somehow. Uh huh. Sure you are. Yeah, uh, you have two smarts and one charm. See if that helps. Thanks, I guess. We just broke the game. All right. Correction, you just broke the game. Shush. On Saturday night, you're at a cool pizza place that cooks pizza in a real pizza oven. Little did you know that when the chef opens the oven to get your pizza, Damien appears in the flames. Well, how does that work? Can he teleport through the fire? Has he been waiting inside the oven all this time just to make an awesome entrance? Ah, the mystery! But dude, I fucking hate people needing people's help, but I might need yours. <laughs> and don't let it get to your head and I'll stab you so I don't have to owe you anything. Enough threats. Here's the old fuckhead. I may or may not feel attracted to your buddy Polly. Wait, the sexy one? Yes. Wait, which sexy one? The one with all the drugs? Yes. Wait, which one with all the drugs? <laughs> and you know the one. Always make absurd choices. Be equal parts sexually, sexy and sexually stupid. And with a nice booty. Uh, Which Polly are you talking about? We didn't even have to make that joke. <laughs> but I don't want to get my fiance by rushing into love without proper judgment. But dad's always say, if you love someone, shoot him and see what happens. Great fatherly advice, right? That against Principal Giant Spider, my therapist, and the rule of law all seem to think that shooting someone to check if they are the one is not very legal. You guys can't see it, but I'm doing heavy air quotes. They have strongly recommended that I do all this thing on what they call a theoretical level. Theoretical level. Like, imagining the whole thing. But imagine it's for losers. And since you know Polly's, and you're a loser yourself, I thought you could tell me. What would Polly do if I were to shoot it at? Nothing, she's a ghost! Oh, he's all about getting shot. She goes to the doctor every day just to get a shot, and shots are the only thing she does when she's partying. So I think you can give her a shot. Uh, that's convenient. I have the feeling Dick and me could increase someone's chances of getting shot. Or scared. Now you don't get it to be as big, or as big an asshole as me, if that makes any ease of all the way. I would feel... Dead. My mom won't go shot because of me. But now my Polly's getting into shot. Into getting shot is a relief. I fucking hate guilt. Okay. Seems like my heart isn't being a drunk idiot this time. That might be onto something nice. And who knows if she is into getting shot. I might add some spice to my foreplay if you know what I mean. <laughs> the <breaker. laughs> I mean, shoot Polly before we have sex. Just to be clear. Wowie, 
Wow, we. You're you're welcome, Polly. Both for getting you some demon sausage and for the blood loss you're about to experience. Pfft, yeah, too much blood anyway. Game. Plus three charm for being such a good friend. Friendship is friend. magic. Friend. That that pun hurted. <laughs> Looking at the chat right now, yeah, that pun hurted. And before that, this almost went full on Doki Doki. Mm, Almost. There's a there's an event where Liam goes that extra step. <laughs> well, we do well, have a go. literature club reference. Let me get yeah. more creative. Look at my costume, it's so cute. But what are you worried about any of that bullshit for? <laughs> Reality's a lie. You gotta do something. You round up Polly and Scott, and go to the smartest person you know for help. Vera, we need your help! What? Reality is not what it seems! <sighs> Polly, what have I told you about asking you for help while you're on drugs? Huh? But this time I'm on drugs and correct about a thing! Bye. Yeah! Oh, what now, Polly? Vera oh, was our best chance! But I know someone else. He's not the second smartest person in the world. Damn, and most times I'm pretty sure he's not even smarter than me. But as long as he's like sober -er than me, he might be able to help. Liam, my man, thank God you're here. We need your help. You're like the smartest person in the world. Uh, Liam, excuse me. Why did it take you so long to say that? Mm -hmm. Because such a title requires some anticipation. patient. All right, then, Carrie. Ah, oh, indeed it does. Shut up, Liam. What's important is that our entire world is actually a video game and we need your help to figure out what to do about it. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's ridiculous. I'm not so entertaining this idiocy without some kind of proof. Whoa! Please! <sighs> Scott, what have I told you about asking me for help while simultaneously helping my leg? Oh. Sorry. I'm scared. You're all, You're all scared. <laughs> that's why that's why you've gotta find a way to convince Liam of the terrifying truth. Okay, Liam, leave you alone. All you have to do is raise your right hand or it's true! I swear! You can see it all at the official Monster Prom website, monsterprom.pizza! What? Someone stole my idea for a devastatingly ironic belt URL? I must view this travesty. Liam looks at his phone and navigates to monsterprom.pizza, your number one source for all things Monster Prom. This is not sponsored! But it is real. It's true. How did you know about this? I don't know, dude. Everybody's always talking about Monster Prom, so you figured that would be in the URL. Touchdown! And then we add pizza, because I like pizza. Even though it isn't real. You, you know, that actually does make sense. That's why they went with dot .pizza instead of dot .com or dot .net or anything like that. Huh? Actually, there's a picture of me here. Going to prom with Vera. Hmm. You sly dog. I didn't know you were into her. <sighs> I wasn't. I mean, I'm not. Unless I was programmed to be. But forget about Vera. This is terrible. Oh, I know, right? We're trapped in a random video game where we could be out there living our own lives. Also, pizza is real. No, no, no. Not that. A video game. It's so derivative. Ah, uh, so I mean, it's so obviously a ripoff of the indie sensation The Yog, an objectively superior game for both its artistry and its impossible to spell name. You literally just spelled it right there. Well, technically, he said it out loud. Of all the video games for me to be trapped, I end up with one in a comedy dating sim of those form of entertainment. Well, this comedy dating sim sure does have its dark moments, it's heartwarming moments, it's deeper moments. It's fucking sexy moments. Shit, I'm, I'm pretty sure the sex falls under comedy. Nah, does it? Mm. Either way, this game is more than it seems to be. 
It's not going to be true in a video game. It better be an odd game. You know, those odd games where you're not sure if it's actually fun or a game. Fellow prisoners, we, we've been held captive for too long. I'm off to break us free, or at least get us transferred to a better genre. You gain one boldness and one fun and one charm and one smart, and who cares anymore? It's just a video game. Those stats don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. Oh dear. Alright! It has gone full dokey dokey. Says DJ uh, in the chat. Fully dokey dokeroos. <laughs> uh, Let's hope the game doesn't decide to cheat you out of an event. Alright, let's just get the fun a little more. Damn on the haters. Oh, phew! You're gazing dreamily at Miranda when a flash of otherworldly light blinds you. When your vision clears, you see a great rift that's open in time and space and standing in the middle of it. Greetings, my love. It's me, the other world, the prince of the other world, and I'm here to fulfill an ancient prophecy. How majestic! A prophecy? How exciting and regal! What sort of prophecy is it? It's a prophecy of love. Ah. Oh boy, here it comes. Legends foretell that a great beauty with the hair of an angel and the scales of a fish. A beauty called I am destined to marry. <gasps> but that, that sounds like a part of the tribute of me. Could it be that I'm the great beauty described in the prophecy? Well, yes, that's sort of what I was trying to imply. Now, come with me to my realm, where we may plan a magnificent wedding. Well, you can't let him get away with this. That prophecy is hard to argue with. The only argument you can think of is, hang on, um, oh god, not this fop. Yeah, alright. What is fop supposed to be? Is that supposed to be an abbreviation or something? Oh, like fop, F-O-P? Yes. Like foppish, so he's like, you know, he's fancy and dandy and debonair. I don't know. Anyway, here it is. It's the prophecy of a living shadow eats the space elf. Uh, clearly Miranda has the hair of a goddess. Check and mate. It's true! The very hair you now look upon was stolen and grafted from the scalp of Thetis herself. Daddy really does insist the best hair for all of his children, even if it angers the gods. Uh, well, perhaps the prophecy was speaking metaphorically. And yet, technicalities are the very things these sort of prophecies turn upon. Oh, alas! Mwah, mwah. With, uh, I... I hope that I could find a princess with less perfect hair. The prince flees through his portal, go trolling for more princesses as Miranda glows with pride. You gain plus two smarts, plus one charm, and the phone number of her hairstylist. You know what, instead of sitting with the love interest for Lens, let's go check on Polly, Scott, and, D and Liam. See how they're doing after all of this. Well, y'all can. Well, let's go! I need, I need to buy something. Aww. Well, I really wanted to see... I really wanted you th them to see both of these reactions. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, you can always see one. But I, I, I do need to buy something. Okay. You know what? <sighs> Basically, they're just... They, these two are just complaining about reality's a lie, what's the matter of pizza isn't real? But here... So authentic! Nothing matters anymore. Nothing is real. This is... This is too meta. Hmm. Told you not to do super shrooms. You pop one too many and you start sounding like Polly. You have just done some super shrooms called the truth. So sad. Hmm. Does Oz have hair? Shadow asks. Oh, right. uh, it's sort of like a Bart Simpson situation where, like, we don't, know, don't where know where hair Bart... ends and scalp begins. Yeah. Give me your money. All you miss me and my sheet, eh? We ain't no more. All this can be yours if you have the money. Not me, though. I had can her with, like, a heavy New York accent. I try heavy New York, but I can't do it. And I'm from See you New later. York. Or at least, like, a. Or maybe, like, heavy Boston. In the heavy, like, inner city, east coast, whatever. Anyway. East coast, east coast. 
Here goes nothing. Oh, let's go. This is gonna be something. Okay. Okay, guys. Hello! There you are. Oh. We've been looking, like, all over for you. Uh, what are you doing engaging in front of the male high school shenanigans when reality itself is a hoax? Yeah. Don't jump over her metaphorical dick, Liam. We need her help. We gotta get out of here, Polly. We gotta escape to reality. The pizza's real and the muscles are also real. Uh. We tried everything we could think of. Yeah. I wrote a fierce takedown on monster from my blood, hoping to eviscerate this vile game with my knife sharp critical faculties. Huh? I tried doing a bunch of really inappropriate shit, but it turns out this game has like absolutely no content standards. I ran really hard into a wall and fell down. No! Oh, poor puppy! <laughs> what? I never, take, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm out of ideas. <sighs> but then we thought, hey, the other Polly says no lot about reality. Yeah. Almost a suspicious amount. So you figured, even if we can't find a way out of here, maybe you could? Don't you fucking try it on. I see you eyeing those options, and I am not pleased. Um, Mr. Narrator, were you talking to me? Or... Yeah. Uh, well, actually, maybe you probably can't see the other options. I don't know. Anyway. Maybe there's a secret way out. We try looking behind you. As much as I would love you guys to see... Liam's lovely booty, which I'm pretty sure they also based off of my boyfriend. We ha I think we're gonna need to have to get the hell of someone from the outside. Cause we certainly can't escape all on our own. Are you suggesting we crowdsource our escape plan? That's not specifically what the other poly was suggesting, but hell yes. Brilliant. I'll use my years of experience starting very influential blogs to create a website. <laughs> www.escapemonsterprom.pizza Yes, that is also real. Yep, that is an actual site, guys. An actual domain. Mm-hmm. And I am actually going to type it in the chat for all of you because I love you guys. <laughs> I'll use my innate sense of style to keep your website from looking like a sad sack piece of garbage. Hey. Some, Some dumb, dumb amount of time up. later. Yay! There! The website's all set up! <sighs> yeah, cool. look, we already have a suggestion for how to escape. Bron 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 Bronaldo the Monster Smoocher says <laughs> the exit for the video game is inside my pants. Low. <sighs> Somehow I don't think that'll have a desired effect. Yeah, it depends on whose desire you're talking about, I guess. Great! Don't be sad, you guys. It's okay. That's just one more suggestion. Well, yeah, I'm sure we'll get loads way more soon. In the meantime, let's just be grateful we have a friend like Other Polly to give us hope in these pizza-less times. Yeah, thanks for participating in our existential crisis, Polly. You're like a real mensch. I too wish to express gratitude, but not in a lame way. <laughs> thanks or something. Oh, you're how sweet. Well, this makes up for the fact that you'll be trapped in here forever. <laughs> Oz, uh, so you do a terrible evil laugh. It's, it's more like a. A uh, slightly rebellious chuckle. I've been practicing my evil laugh. Let's see. <coughs> I'm relieved to work on choking. Yeah, I'm relieved to work on not choking. What's that? Oh, sure. You can have two bones on creativity. It hardly matters. All right. <laughs> I'm just reminded of that one Pro ZD skit where it's like the villain has like a really awful evil laugh, but the the subordinate has a really good evil laugh, and he's self-conscious. <laughs> anyway... 
Oh yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Damp, 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 damp. No wait, you weren't outside. Dang it. Yeah, this is my silver chariot requiem cosplay. Ooh, nice. Do you want to come up with a nickname? It is, wait, it's the last event of the game. Oh, my, my nickname is Oz. <laughs> oh, it's a yeah. good way for, you, for us to tell you from the other and the other Lena part. Anyway, oh my word, what a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day! I hope someone can share in my joy. My great aunt Sea Monster, unholy terror, McCracken face, and Cthulhu has just received the war for worker shipwrecks. She's now one of their leading causes. Yay! I want to send her my congratulations, but no one from the postal service will go near her lair for fear of their lives. Oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to deliver this important and time-sensitive missive. Why is a letter of congratulations so time-sensitive, you ask? Well, uh -huh. it's because of, well, you see, like, the things are very special. Congratulations with instructions to do something congratulatory for herself, you know? Dang it! There's something fishy about this request, but you've never let that stop you before. You come up with a foolproof plan. Well, I hire Scoober, the underwater taxi service, to deliver the letter for you. Or? No, I, I have to. You has out. no money. What? You oh, has no money. Geez. Not, man, that ooh, that could have been awful. Okay, I'm gonna have to <laughs> dynamite the toilet, dive into the sewer. It's been there myself. Also, yellow looks really good on Mary. Yes, it does. Well, if you want something done right and there's absolutely no way to pull it out on someone else, do it yourself. You grab the stick of dynamite you won from Damien in a game of multiplayer solitaire and head to the bathroom. From an environmentalist standpoint, it's probably not great that the school sewer system leads directly to the heart of the ocean. But it's great for your purposes. You swim all the way to the lair. Great and see mother unholy terror mech crack and face old Cthulhu. Or Gas Mutt McCock. What? Gas Mutt McCock. No, I'm abbreviating it. Uh, okay. Anyway. Who you must admit looks fantastic for a piece of a certain number of centuries. You gave her the How letter. You, <laughs> you gave her the letter and crawled back out the toilet before you can find out what she means by "stay for dinner." A few days later, you see the fruits stem there of your labor. Thank you so much for getting my letter to Aunt Sea Monster. She said she would act on it immediately. Act on the congratulations that I sent by thanking me, which you did. So it's all over, neatly wrapped up now. Nothing further happening here. Yep. Seems entirely legit. <laughs> I'm glad you slammed down the toilet for whatever totally ab above bore operation is going here. <laughs> you gain plus two charm, plus one boldness. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 what's up, what's up? Welcome to Leon Day Lion Court. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Really? Prom? Boo! Who cares about Monster Prom? Reality is a lie! Uh, yeah, Monster Prom is the only hideous reason for which we exist. Oh. Pizza is real. Well, I'm Pizza. thankful that you guys exist so we can make all, all sorts of fan art, fan fiction, and cosplays about you. No, we still need to find a way to escape. It promised so close, that means. Reality will turn off again soon. I can't stand a nothingness again, other Polly. Whoa! Wait, if you look close in this direction, it looks like there's a thin wall of glass. Oh, it's true. It's the exit. Let's go! No, <laughs> well, it's meaningless. Their attempt at escaping is yet another layer of their coded prison. They thought they had broken the cycle by realizing it was all a lie, but. It's just another wacky charade. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> of course it was. Of course it was. Hang on, I'm gonna look for a sound. I'm gonna look for a sound effect. There we go. Who cares? They'll forget everything the next time you play. Ooh. Or will they? In any case, you'll have to face the fact that once you turn off the game, you'll be throwing them back into the horrible nothingness. Sadistic sicko. The only way to spare them from that suffering would be to play Monster Prom. Okay. That that was timed perfectly. <laughs> All right. Prom. That's a thin wall. Oh, it's true. It's true. It's the it's the it's Darn it! I forgot to mute the phone. <laughs> Prom. Sure. How can I say no to my beautiful accomplice? Um, what do I mean by accomplice? I mean, it was clear all this time, right? I stole some eggs from the sea monster, then my sisters cooked them all in, and you took pictures of the water polo team eating it. And then remember when we totally sold the addresses of the whole thing from Crystal Shiny Spire's computer? Such good times. Then it was just a matter of delivering the pictures and then addresses to the sea monster, who, by my calculations, will soon be hunting all of those unpolite peasants down. They rejected me, and I'm sure it has always been clear that you'd not reject Miranda Vanderbilt. So in a way, it was sort of all on them, right? Oh no. Miranda would probably have been right at home on r slash nice girls. It has been so sweet of you, my charming knight in shining armor. Hey, that's worth it. Well, damn. Yeah. I feel a bit bad. I did not mean to bad there. About the being an accomplice to multiple manslaughter and feeling weirdly aroused by Miranda's ruthlessness. Kitties, look away. Avert your eyes. But love is blind, and so a date it is. You have a delightful evening, and in the end, isn't that what counts? Isn't it? At the end of it, Miranda even invites you to her house to show you the corpse of the water polo team, which she's stolen from their funerals. Avert thy eyes! No one messes with Miranda Vanderbilt! You're still troubled by the fact that this kind of excites you, but obviously Miranda isn't troubled about being excited by a successful, merciless vendetta. If I had a soundboard right now, I'd, I'd know exactly what I'd play. You're still troubled by the fact that... Oh wait, I already read this bit. So you end up celebrating your victory and feasting over what's left of her enemies. What? Nice. Okay, uh, most likely to be banned from Disney World for the worst reasons. By carrying a sign on a Disney ride. What? <laughs> Most like I'm I'm voted most likely to be banned from Disney World from the worst reason and the worst reason there is to hold a sign on a Disney ride. Really? That's the worst reason? The worst I'm reason sure. Vicky could do. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure oh, okay. Uh, that Vicky could do yeah, I'll buy that. Miranda, most likely to die in a coup d'etat. We didn't do that <laughs> route this week. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do that route today. Anyway, check in the chat. Yeah, they just responded to the whole, the whole Pinkie Pie clip. Those three weeks are maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives, <laughs> leaning more towards the absurd. After the last prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, and battling for friendship and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Miranda and Damien received an award for Smalltopia for their work as city planners. Ooh, yay! Smalltopia citizens still insist that their war was fake, and they pray every day for the two of them to stop messing with their city. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, last week we kind of destroyed Smalltopia with a bunch of spiders. Rip. Liam honed his most admirable skill and got a job with it. He now describes Instagram filters. Due to the obscene amount of fan art she drew, 
Zoe, who we've not seen at all in this game, was taken in by Jim Davis, renowned creator of Garfield, as his protege. Nowadays, Garfield still hates Mondays and loves lasagna, but you can bet he's into a lots of other weird stuff, too. Eh. For those three weeks, the monster problem seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. At least reality didn't, wasn't just gone just like that today. The battle for monster problem I have ended then, but there are plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start to break the game. <laughs> I remember playing that game for the first time and I got a really big jump scare. <laughs> what, Doki? Yeah, I got Doki Doki vibes. Mm. <sighs> well, that was fun. <sighs> well, you know what tomorrow is, right? Yep. And from where we are right now, it is less than 15 minutes away. Uh -huh. Yep, tomorrow is All Hallows Eve. So, yeah. Last time we destroyed the world, this time we broke the game. You have any idea what we're doing tomorrow? You have any idea what's gonna happen tomorrow? Uh, you're going trick or treating? No, I'm too old for trick or treating, and in some places that's illegal to not go trick or treating with a kid. Okay, so what are you getting at? No, I'm hitting at tomorrow's stream. Oh. I'm guessing you're gonna play more Monster Prom. Yep, and um, the new route we just got earlier this week. Yeah. So well, that's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so yeah, that that gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Yeah, that it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's been what? Almost two hours now. Over two hours now. We need to get to bed. No, wait. No, just an hour and a half today. Huh. That didn't take much long at all. <laughs> Usually a Monster Prom streams take over two hours, but I guess since we didn't do the challenges today... Yeah, also it was only like two people. That is true. <sighs> let's... Yeah, well, ten minutes to midnight, let's head to bed. Later. Good night, everybody.